factual manner, even as they criticize in the negative things, they should also be saying the positive things that this government of His Excellency President William Ruto has done. So in the next one year, Mr. Speaker, I want to assure the nation, and we saw when the President State of the Nation, Mr. Speaker, the Kenyan economy is looking more resilient than it was before. The Kenyan economy is looking better after William Ruta took, took over. We are talking about inflation rate of 2%, Mr. Speaker. In our culture, when uh, somebody of the status of also is celebrating, the in-laws must be there. So, and I want to thank Mr. Speaker, it looks like uh, going into the future, UDA and ODM will work closely with the reception that we receive, Mr. Speaker. And we are happy that Raila Odinga and William Ruta are working closely for the better men of this. Mr. Speaker, secondly, I want to, to support this report of finance and budget uh, that has been tabled and moved by the Deputy Vice Chair, where the, Mr. Gerald Nya, Nyaoma Arita is going to be the Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Kenya. So, Speaker, I, I think the, a lot has been said. I want to congratulate the committee for doing speedily and efficiently the approval process of Mr. Gerald Nyauma Arita. Mr. Speaker, from the onset, I want to say the only way we can create an ethical public service, a service of integrity, is to allow people to grow within rank and file of a public service, Mr. Speaker. This issue of making political appointments, especially in public service, must stop, Mr. Speaker. Let somebody grow from the level of clerk to middle-level manager to the level of running that organization, Mr. Speaker, because they understand the challenges that face such an organization, Mr. Speaker. I'm happy that Mr. Gerald Nyamoita, Mr. Speaker, Arita, grew up within the rug and file of the financial sector and financial public service of this country. The only way we can inspire and encourage the public service to be vibrant is to allow people to grow within the rank and file of public service with ethics, being corruption-free, Mr. Speaker, and understand. So I want to commend Mr. Speaker and thank the President for appointing him, Mr. Speaker, because I know many of the public servants in this country, as we talk today, will be happy and excited, Mr. Speaker, that you can grow in a public service sector until you have that, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, we should discourage political appointments in some of these sagas, Mr. Speaker, some of these parastatals. Let us allow public servants to grow within rank and file and add those institutions, Mr. Speaker, so that we don't get people from nowhere to add some of these critical institutions. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank also Central Bank of Kenya because their work is to do monetary policy, is to do financial surveillance among commercial history, to do regulation within the financial sector, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, I want to ask Kenyans, the way the inflation has been stabilized, the way the economy is looking better than when President William Ruta took in 2022, Mr. Speaker. When the President took uh, as the President of the Republic of Kenya in September 2022, Mr. Speaker, when he was sworn in as the, as the fifth President of the Republic of Kenya, Kenya was almost defaulting in payment of public debt, which is close to 10.5 trillion Kenyan shillings, Mr. Speaker. And you know every child that is born in this country owes the public debt 201,000 shillings per child that is for Mr. Speaker. The president has done well that there is no default or payment of public debt by his government, Mr. Speaker. And I want to ask Kenyans to be patient that in the next one or two years, in the next one year, Mr. Speaker, this country will be flowing with honey and milk. This country will be canon, Mr. Speaker, by His Excellency the President William Ruta. And I know to many people it appears to me to be a miracle, but it will be a miracle that happens after 2000, Jesus, 2,000 years that Jesus left this world, Mr. Speaker. Let us give the president the chance and opportunity to transform the economy of this country, Mr. Speaker. And one of the important critical factors in this is the Central Bank of Kenya. If they can do proper financial regulatory, Mr. Speaker, it will be very critical. So I want to appeal to Kenyans, as they take to social media, they have a right, Mr. Speaker, you are a senior lawyer in this country. Freedom of expression has its boundaries, Mr. Speaker. 
We want to ask Kenyans who use social media, they have a right to criticize government, but they should do it factually. They should do it in a proper and hygienic way, Mr. Speaker. Freedom of expression does not mean to insult or you demean. You can still pass your message without demeaning, without undermining, without insulting, Mr. Speaker. So as Kenyans go to social media to criticize Mr. Speaker, they have the right to, but they should criticize it in a factual manner. Even as they criticize in the negative things, they should also be saying the positive things that this government of His Excellency President William Ruto has done. So in the next one year, Mr. Speaker, I want to assure the nation, and we saw when the President State of the Nation, Mr. Speaker, the Kenyan economy is looking more resilient than it was before. The Kenyan economy is looking better after William Ruta took, took over. We are talking about inflation rate of 2%, Mr. Speaker. As we talk, even when you walk around, Mr. Speaker, you can feel money. Where I come from, Mr. Speaker, we are selling maize at the moment, Mr. Speaker. You have bonuses in South Rift and across the country, Mr. Speaker. Let us allow the president to transform this country to a better nation. And let me ask Kenyans, Mr. Speaker, in terms of this inflation rate and the cost of living has significantly gone down because we depend on central bank to do stable regulatory financial and, and, and financial environment, Mr. Speaker. Even the cost of living has gone down, the cost of food has gone down, Mr. Speaker. The, 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 the many other issues are coming that look good for this country, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, I want to appeal uh, and also, Mr. Speaker, advise the new deputy governor, Mr. Uh, Gerald uh, Arita uh, Nyaoma, that let him be deputy governor. He is not a co-governor. You know the problem we are having in this country, Mr. Speaker, I see many counties have a problem because a deputy governor he imagines that they are co-governors. If Mr. Nyaoma will just be a deputy governor, he should just be assistant to the governor. Let him not be a co-governor. I think that's a free advice because we have seen situations, Mr. Speaker, where people are trying to be the co-governor or even a co-president, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, secondly, is on the issue of monetary policy. Monetary policy is critical. We want to see the issue of money laundering being taken care of, Mr. Speaker. We are aware, Mr. Speaker, that quite a number of people are using money laundering through financial systems in this country. We want to call the central bank, now that we have a new deputy governor, Mr. Speaker, to put in place necessary mechanism to prevent money laundering. We don't want to see money that comes from cartels and drugs and corruption and proceeds of corruption being laundered through our, central, our banking system in this country. We want to also don't want to see the money that comes from pirates, Mr. Speaker getting into our financial marketing uh, banking system in this country, Mr. Speaker. I know to run a commercial bank, Mr. Speaker, you need a deposit of one billion to run a commercial bank, Mr. Speaker. I want to request Central Bank to raise that, to run a commercial bank in this country should be 10 billion, Mr. Speaker, because I'm told the number of people who learn more will increase going into the future because of President William Ruto's macroeconomic policies in this country. So I want to request, let us stop, the, the, the commercial banks should now increase, Mr. Speaker, to 10 billion to operate a commercial account, Mr. Speaker. Number two, Mr. Speaker, because you see a bank like Kenya Commercial Bank, KCB, is one, what, 1.4 trillion Kenya shillings, Mr. Speaker. It's one of the richest banks, KCB. So if you ask KCB to open a, a commercial bank account deposit, is 1 billion, it's, it's chicken change, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we need also the issue of technology. You know, Kenyans, Mr. Speaker, even fixed deposit interest rates are not looking very good. That is why Kenyans prefer to keep their money through cryptocurrency. And I'm told Bitcoin is coming back, Mr. Speaker. The central bank must work to ensure that the fixed interest, interest are paid to Kenyans, Mr. Speaker. Because that is why Kenyans are giving their money in, in pillows and in their mattresses, Mr. Speaker. Because, they, Mr. Speaker, the financial surveillance by central bank must be up to date. You have seen in the previous years, Mr. Speaker, some of the banks, I think like Imperial Bank and others, have collapsed with Kenyan's money. What is central bank doing to recover Kenyans who have their, lost their money because the bank has gone under? 
And that is why Kenyans do not trust the banking system until they keep money in their pillows, in their skin, Mr. Speaker, in their mattresses, Mr. Speaker, in their quads, Mr. Speaker, even in the forest. Others are digging uh, graves to keep their money, Mr. Speaker, because they don't trust banking system. Because in this country, when a banking system is collapsing, you don't get your money back, Mr. Speaker. We need to have a proper deposit protection fund that is ensured to cushion clients in this country, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, uh, on the issue of domestic debt and foreign exchange reserves, we want our central bank to, be, to ensure it is stable so that even when, you know, balance of trade, where we import oil, we import food, if we don't have sufficient foreign reserves, Mr. Speaker, it will always affect the stability of the shilling. And I'm happy. Mr. Speaker, let us be honest. There is a time dollar against the shilling had risen up to 160 shillings. As we talk, it is now below 130 shillings against, the, against one dollar, Mr. Speaker, which means the economy has improved, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on the issue of uh, licensing and regulatory and price stability of basic commodities, I want to ask Mr. Speaker, let them maintain, even Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, there is this issue of micro, micro credit lending institutions. They must be cracked with or look like what to credit, Mr. Speaker. When somebody finishes, especially for these young guys in Border Border, when they're almost finishing paying for their Border Border, their Border Border disappears. And they are paid this, Mr. Speaker. We must arrest the rogue micro credit, like what to credit, like platinum, Mr. Speaker. They are flinching and fleecing. They are taking like coupe, what do you call the ticks? They are flinching and fleecing young people who are struggling, Mr. Speaker, in the border border sector. The new deputy governor must ensure financial surveillance, as I conclude, is on top notch, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with those very many remarks, and uh, Mr. Speaker, you need to protect me, he's saying something in Kikuyu. You know, this gentleman nowadays is bald headed. I don't know, he's a member of Murima Defense Force or something. Mr. Speaker, I want to support this motion and allow members, let us give Nyamoita Arita. I think this is one of the nominees that we have never had a problem because he has grown up in rank and file in public service. Members, going into the future, let us allow people to rise up through ranks and file of public service so that we can give confidence to the public service, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with those funny remarks and your indulgence, I want to say it was good to see you in Kitale. I'm told you didn't leave that place as, as it was expected. I'm told you were treated like a king. I hope uh, you left your markings around Kitale and uh, Transoya, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, so that, uh, but otherwise, uh, let us always support our colleagues when we can. Mr. So Speaker, with those very marks, I support this motion. Thank you, Senator uh, Samson Chenerge. I will give uh, Senator Ali Roba. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support uh, the nomination of Mr. Gerald Nyaoma Arita 